We're here with Sam and Kaylin Head. Kaylin used to be the tech editor on Super Chevy Magazine, and he did a great suspension, a before and after suspension install on this 56 Bel Air that's behind us. Sam, that's his car. He actually built his own rear suspension for it at one point, a truck arm rear suspension, but you weren't real happy with that, were you? No, nah, it was airbagged and trailing arm, and it just didn't work out. It rode kind of harsh and... Can never keep air in the bags. <laughs> okay, so now we went the opposite. We went a full aftermarket route. We went to Heights for their new independent rear suspension, and I drove it on the street yesterday, and I thought I was driving a new Cadillac CTS. I mean, you got to be impressed with the way the car oh, yeah. rides now. Definitely. Kaylin, how was it to put all that stuff in? Oh, it actually went in really well. I mean, I think Kites did a pretty good job with their R&D because, I mean, we followed their instructions to the T and it slipped right in the car. We didn't have to modify anything. I mean, to put IRS on a car with just drilling a few holes is pretty impressive. And like I said, we drove it on the, the skid pad yesterday. We drove it on the slalom. It did well. Um, but I was really impressed on the street. Just like I said, you could soak up the bumps. You, there's a real washboard section as you leave here and boy it's just 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 go right over it like it was nothing at all yeah that's kind of what i felt too is it, it i mean it handles really well it's nice and flat but when you see a big bump coming you start to pucker and the car just soaks it right up i mean no big deal it's just i think it's worth every penny now this is the first time the car has been on track on the on the road course here at willow yeah. it's got a 502 502 big block and it's got big brakes now it's got the suspension behind it I think we're looking at some pretty good numbers. We should, the only problem is, is the motor itself is not set up for all this road race, so we don't have the oil control in the pan. So we'll see how it fares. <laughs> Fingers crossed it does well. It's got the power on tap, we'll just see if it can keep its oil under control. Well, I know it's gonna handle better than a stock 56. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you know, you drove it here, we'll make sure you'll be able to drive it home today. Awesome.